Hi everybody and welcome back to Duke Magian Wilderness Park in the city of Glendale, California. My name is Jeff Weinstein and we want you to join us today as we host our medicinal plant hike with Dr. James Adams. Dr. Adams recently retired from the USC School of Pharmacy. He's been leading hikes through this park for about 10 years. He actually wrote a book all about the medicinal plants and how they can be used. So why don't you tie up your shoes, put your backpack on, and get ready to join us on the trail. Hi Jeff, thank you for the introduction. I'm Jim Adams, and it's a pleasure to be here in Duke Majin Park, which the city of Glendale is doing a magnificent job of helping us restore it, get the native plants restored. It's a beautiful, wonderful place. And as you can see, I'm standing under this magnificent oak tree, which is probably about 300 years old. This plant is the first plant on our medicinal plant hike. This is white sage, Salvia apiana. In Chumash, it's called hapshak. And as, as Jeff told you, I learned from a Chumash Indian healer for 14 years. She taught me that this plant is our everything. We need it every day or something will be missing from our lives. White sage helps keep us calm, rational, and productive in society. The way you use it is you grow it in your own garden. I have three plants like this in my garden. So I can take one leaf every day, one leaf, put it in my water bottle, and drink from that water all day long, changing the water as much as I need to, but keep that leaf in there. And that beautiful flavor of the white sage contains monoterpenoids chemicals that help keep you calm and rational, help decrease your anxiety. So it's a wonderful plant that we should all be growing in our gardens. This is our next plant here in Duke Majin Park. And I should mention to you, don't pick the plants here in Duke Majin. Grow them in your own garden or find some place where you're allowed to pick them. You're not allowed to pick plants here in Duke Majin. I'm only doing this for teaching purposes, okay? This plant is Yerba Santa, which means holy plant or plant of the saints. This is the plant that is used to treat pneumonia and tuberculosis. So what you do with this plant is you take about this much, double handful, okay? You put it in two quarts of water and you boil it. You boil it for about five minutes. Then you stick your nose in that vapor and you inhale that vapor. So what you're doing is this plant contains flavonoids. Some of them are antibiotic, antiviral, some of them are relaxed lung tissue. So by, by inhaling that vapor, what you're doing is you're delivering those flavonoids directly into your lungs, exactly where you need them. If you eat this plant or you drink a tea, it's not going to get into your lungs. Vapor gets into your lungs. So remember, vaporize over this plant. This is our next plant. Buckwheat with these red tops on them, sort of rust red, aren't they? This is Areoganum fasciculatum. And we are so blessed here in California to have literally millions of acres of this plant, buckwheat. And this is another plant like acorns that you can use to survive the winter. And I'm going to show you how to process it, okay? You take, you see how I just took the tops of it? And now I'm going to crumble them and you see the flower parts blowing away. And what's left in my hand, as you can see right there, that's the buckwheat that you eat, just like regular buckwheat. You can make your buckwheat soba noodles out of it. You can make buckwheat pancakes and it's gluten free. You can store it just like any other uh, grain product you would store and then use it as needed during the winter to survive. Okay, tastes pretty good too. This plant is California sage brush, Artemisia californica. What you do with this plant is you pick the branches and leaves, just like I'm holding here, and you stuff them into a jar, a jar like this size, until you can't get any more sage brush in there. Then you put in one or two cracked avocado seeds for the oil. You put in one leaf of white sage because white sage enhances everything and you fill the jar with 70% rubbing alcohol. And you leave it in the shade for six weeks until it makes a beautiful green liniment. Then you spray that liniment on wherever you hurt. It only takes about 20 seconds, 
20 seconds for this to work to relieve your pain. This abundant California plant, no one had ever examined its chemistry until I examined it. It contains 15 monoterpenoids and five different sesquiterpenoids that inhibit pain in your skin, okay? So remember this plant, California sage brush. Plant it in your yard, it's easy to grow. What you do is you take the seeds, here are the seeds right here, you take these seeds, you put them on the ground in your garden, and you've got sagebrush coming up. It's that easy. This plant is black sage, Salvia mellifera. What you do with this plant is you take a double handful of it, the, the stems, the leaves, everything. You put it into two quarts of water. Sea water is preferable. You put it in that water for, for six to eight hours and it forms a beautiful reddish sun tea. Then you take the plant material out and you soak your feet in it for 20 minutes. It's very good for mild to moderate pain. You can learn more about it in my book, Healing with Medicinal Plants of the West, which is available on my website, abatispress.com, and you can read all of the scientific publications I've written about this plant and all the other plants also. Have fun with that. It's been wonderful being here today. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, City of Glendale. Thank you, Duke Majin Park. This is a wonderful place. Well, that concludes our medicinal plant hike for today. I want to thank Dr. Adams for your passion, your knowledge, and sharing it with the people today. In a typical year, Dr. Adams leads a hike for us in the spring and in the fall. So hopefully, come spring 2021, we'll be able to have everybody back out on the trails, have Dr. Adams lead us. It's typically about a three hour hike, a three hour tour up the trail and back. We stop and learn about a number of plants and then you can uh, ask Dr. Adams questions about anything that he's presented on the hike. So again, thank you, Dr. Adams. And as always, take a hike and take care of yourselves.